Tell me how fucking narcissistic it is that Chris is living their best fucking life. Yeah, Chris is the narcissist here. You're right. God damn, I've made this fucking video. And this fucking guy, he stole it. Vid for weird. Beast is the top YouTuber on planet Earth. His videos are really, really watchable, beautifully produced, really entertaining. But now he's got a major problem. A ma what, 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 do you, what do you mean? What? I mean, Ben Shapiro is such a fucking algo demon. He has to glaze up Mr. Beast. Many people who are sort of outside the YouTube sphere have no idea who Mr. Beast is, but Mr. Beast is the single most popular YouTuber on YouTube, meaning he has tens of millions of followers. A huge number of people follow his videos. Y even if you're not sort of a routine YouTuber, you've probably seen some of his videos. He very famously, a couple of years ago, for example, did a remake of Squid Game in which he actually hired a bunch of people or offered a bunch of people to take part in Squid Game. They're then shot with paintball guns. His videos are incredibly well done. They've been viewed hundreds of millions of times each. We're talking about billions and billions of views for Mr. Beast. He's a very young guy. He's like 24, 25 years old. His actual name is Jimmy Donaldson. And the entire sort of drive of his show is that he does these incredibly creative videos, very clickable videos. And, and very often he does things for charity in his videos as well. We've talked about him on the show before, helping to, to donate money so that people who are going blind can actually have surgery or making sure that people in Africa have shoes. There's some really cool stuff on his YouTube channel. The entire sort of vibe of his show is that he and some of his friends, sort of the bros, they're constantly going and they are doing things together. It's him and his team of friends. Well, now Mr. Beast has a problem. Mr. Beast's problem is that one of his co-stars, his longtime friend Chris Tyson, has decided that he is now a woman. Now, normally, this isn't really a problem, right? You got a friend, your friend decides that they're a woman. That Wait, what? No, it, it, it's never a problem. It's only a problem to you and other freaks like you, Ben. I don't even understand. You know his ass has to fucking glaze up Mr. Beast, though, because, again, he's an algorithm demon. So he is going to present this as though it's not him being transphobic, but everyone else is going to be transphobic to Chris. And therefore, uh, Mr. Beast's business is going to suffer due to this. And that, that's the reason why Mr. Beast should fucking turn around and separate forcibly with Chris. Okay, this is going to be the Sunny V2 uh, version. Sunny V1, basically. Okay, it could be a nightmare if you ask Sunny V2. With Sunny V2, we don't fucking know if he's like, uh, you know, hyper right wing. Or at least, like, you can kind of make inferences. You can make an assumption, and it's probably a correct one. But with Benny V1, we know he's, like, super anti-trans. That's all he does. That's a, that's a you issue, right? I mean, that's, that's just a question for you and your life. How are you going to handle that? But the problem is, for Mr. Beast, that Chris Tyson is actually a member of the cast. Chris Tyson is a person who was part of sort of the bro crew, and now he is saying that he is gender transitioning into becoming a woman. And for people... No, Chris hasn't even said that. He just said that he, uh, he's, you know, gender non-conforming. He might down the line, and we will respect that. But, you know, Ben, of course, speaking on issues that he does not understand. For fans of Mr. Beast, this sort of changes the dynamic a little bit. Sort of changes the dynamic. Why? Right? Why? If, if, you are, if you are somebody who watches Mr. Beast regularly, and suddenly... Look, normally, if this wasn't Mr. Beast, the way that Ben would cover this is literally... Mr. Beast is a pervert for showing a trans person to children. But because it's Mr. Beast, he has to fucking toe the line because he knows Mr. Beast will fucking watch this video. So he can't just outwardly be anti-Mr. Beast. He can't fucking criticize Jimmy aggressively. He's just trying to politely tell Jimmy to sever ties with his fucking like, childhood friend. The cruelty is so fucked up. He's afraid of, like, losing out on a potential ally down the line. A bunch of bros are interrupted by one guy who is pretending to be or believes that he is a woman. It changes the dynamic in rather stark ways, especially given the fact that Chris Tyson has in the past made sort of transgender jokes, jokes about transgenderism. Well, uh so is so is Jimmy. It's very common. It's uh, it's kind of I mean, I bet you loved it back then, didn't you? Super common. Everyone in 2016, with, uh, you know, some exceptions, uh, were, were saying shit like that. Luckily, a lot of people grew out of it. You and your old-ass age uh, decided to lean into it and uh, become worse. A little while ago, a few months ago, he decided that he was going to begin hormone replacement therapy, and he started looking significantly less masculine on camera and significantly more feminine on camera. Now, listen, if you were running a TV show, which is essentially what Mr. Beast is doing, if you're running a piece of entertainment, then typically what you do is you cast for roles. Right in, now on, on YouTube.
Bro, this is a human, okay? This is a human being. Because it's all about authenticity. Very often, they're just sort of your friends. But the reality is the dynamic created is a dynamic that is for the cameras. And so typically speaking, let's say that you were running a show, you know, other than the Umbrella Academy, and one of your stars decided they were a member of the opposite sex. What would you do? Well, you'd probably just say, well, you don't get to be in the show anymore because the dynamic of the show has changed. And that yeah, except like these are friends who are just like shooting YouTube videos together. Like you become this like weird parasocial psycho. Dude, you are, how old is Ben Shapiro, bro? Motherfucker's 39 years old, bro. Ah, uh, Mr. Beast. My favorite television show is Mr. Beast. And now there's someone who is trans. They should stop being friends with the trans person. That has nothing to do with bigotry. That has to do with the dynamic and success of the show. Not only that, if you were... Bro, bro really is like, yo, you should recast your friend. <laughs> hey, man. You should really recast your friend. It's kind of f***ed up. It, why? Uh, it's bothering me. Just, like, annoys me that your friend is existing as a trans person on camera. Have you thought about recasting your friend? Okay, thanks. If we're actually friends with somebody, if one of my close friends were on camera with me and they decided to make a radical life shift, they wouldn't expect me to continue to put the success of my career on hold or at risk because they were... It shouldn't be that way. Why would the success of his career change because there's a trans person on screen i know why because ben shapiro is transphobic that's it that's why it's funny because so many motherfuckers were like it's actually good someone like there's two sides of the transphobia coin right there's the ben shapiro side who's like oh actually it's gonna ruin your business i promise and then the other side is the the real schizos who was like it was supposed to either be him jimmy or chris one of the two had to be trans the die is cast. Our Illuminati overlords decided one of them had to be trans, so Chris took a dive on the trans side. This is the only way they could continue. We're making a personal life decision. In other words, it's not my job to make room for you on this particular show because you've decided to make a life decision that now cuts directly against the entire dynamic of the show. Now, I mentioned the Umbrella Academy a moment ago on Netflix. They were in serious trouble because the Umbrella Academy started off with Ellen Page, a woman, playing El a girl on the show, like a straight woman on the show. And then Ellen Page decided that she was a lesbian, and so they actually added a lesbian storyline in the middle of Umbrella Academy. And then Ellen Page decided that she was Elliot Page, a man, and so then they turned the entire character into a male. And that just doesn't work. I mean, it's ridiculous and it's silly, but that's exactly what is sort of now expected in the entire... Yeah, have you noticed how that's different because it's like a fictional show and even then it like still was fine? You know what I mean? Like even if, even in that fictional show, which is like not super beholden to, but oftentimes could be beholden to source material. Whereas like you're comparing, here's what you're doing, Ben. You're comparing a fictional show off of a comic book, a comic book rendition on Netflix, a live action rendition that still was fine. You know, it didn't, fucking, you know. It didn't change the dynamic all that aggressively. Uh, it was otherwise mediocre regardless before, uh, you know, uh, Elliot Page's uh, gender confirmation. Notice how you are talking about a show, a live action show, a fiction, uh, a work of fiction uh, versus like a, a, a real human being appearing alongside his friend. And your expectation is that, like, the dynamic should be different now because, like, you know, they are uh, now uh, gender non-confirming. Notice how weird that is. It's only not weird to you because you're a f***ing psychotic freakazoid who uh, clearly has never had a friend in general and certainly not one that was, I guess, uh, maybe gender non-confirming or, or anything like that or came out as, uh, as, as gay. You know what I mean? It's just very odd. Entertainment world is that everyone who casts these shows they have to treat people who completely change their entire identity as completely unfireable, like absolutely unfireable. So all this began again when Chris Tyson started to change his appearance on the show to appear more feminine and then started tweeting out publicly about the benefits and wonders of gender affirming health care. So Chris Tyson tweeted out and again, he's changed his entire Twitter profile. So now he has sort of an, a, an illustration of himself looking like a woman, although he doesn't look anything like that in real life. He looks like a dude who's wearing some makeup and has some long hair. He says, informed consent, HRT, that'd be hormone replacement therapy, saved me and many others' lives. The hurdles GNC people, gender non-conforming people, have to jump through to get life-saving, gender-affirming health care. It's really funny because, like, Chris um, goes by any and all pronouns, so, like, Ben is trying to misgender him and, like, failing to do so. 
It's like a bit of an ultimate own. Like, they all work at the moment. In a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies. And people started pointing out, well, Chris, you know, when you make life decisions, it actually has impact on other people. See, this is, this is the magnificent narcissism of modern society. Please tell us more about the magnificent narcissism of modern society as you cut 13 minutes of vitriolic propaganda about a whole ass grown ass adult and his own whole ass grown ass personal decisions and how that hurts your feelings and how that may or may not actually impact the bottom line of another whole ass grown ass adult who has chosen to stand by him. Go ahead. No, Ben, please. Please, I really want to know how you feel about like two people in North Carolina who have known each other for many, many years and how you feel about their relationship now that one has come out as trans. Please tell me how fucking narcissistic it is that Chris is living their best fucking life. Yeah, Chris is the narcissist here. You're right. The worst part about this is that he just plagiarized the Sunny V2 video. I'd be so pissed. God damn, I've made this video and this guy, he stole it. Vid for win. Decide that the personal life decisions that make us feel better in the cockles of our heart. These are the things that really matter in life, not our relationships with other people, not, in Chris Tyson's case, the relationship that he has with his wife and his kid. He has a wife and he has a kid. Let me just express something to you right now. If you decide that your feelings of comfort and gender identity are more important than your relationship with your wife and your child, you are being selfish. This is true for everyone. If you're a man and you decide that you're going to cheat on your wife because Listen, it makes you feel better about yourself. You're hitting your 40s, and now- Wait, what? Why are you just, like, bringing up a- Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're an adult and you decide to, like, murder someone, yeah, that would be pretty f***ed up as well. Are we just, like, talking about things that are f***ed up and then trying to, like, subtly compare them to something that's not f***ed up? That's so weird. What about, like, coming to terms with being trans is, is like, damaging, especially if they're still in the lives of their partner and also their child. Very weird. What are you going to sacrifice on behalf of the people who mean the most to you. It is not about you feeling the best you can feel on the interior of you, especially because that's a really subjective feeling and it turns out it's incredibly transitory. Not only is it transitory, when you're telling lies to yourself, it's incredibly damaging. When you're telling yourself a lie that you're a member of the opposite sex, and meanwhile, you know, completely destroying, presumably, your relationship with your wife, and also completely confusing your own child, that actually is a bad thing to do. This should not be a controversial statement because again, this is true for everyone. Dog, you confuse your child fuck you mean in infinitely more damaging ways than chris trans people exist whether chris is trans or not trans it doesn't matter trans people still exist you know what i mean every child is eventually going to learn about the existence of trans people i know that sounds like i'm fucking sephiroth making a threat it's a promise you know what i mean meanwhile you can be ben shapiro and try to basically bake in that hatred of trans people to your child at an early age so they just like grow up and become another weirdo like ben shapiro gay straight gender nonconform, whatever you are your top priority is providing for your child a level of stability and understandability to the world. And to your spouse, your highest commitment is to being the best husband or the best wife to your spouse that you can be. This does not involve you seeking yourself. You seeking yourself is a 1960s, 1970s garbage construct in which your own personal priority- It's so weird, like, Ben's argument here is that, like, again, it's the same as, like, Sunny V2. It's just that, like, you should hide it. Like, don't be true to yourself. Don't live with the mental clarity and happiness. Just hide it. You know, this changes the dynamic of Mr. Beast's show. That this actually is a problem for Mr. Beast's show. So Mr. Beast was now caught between a rock and a hard place. Because what our woke society has now created is a rock and a hard place. Not for Chris Tyson, whose choice this was in the first place. You know, whatever he chooses to do with his own family, he is free to do, although I am also free to morally criticize that thing. Because again, anybody who places their own priorities above those of their family is doing the wrong thing. We'll get to that momentarily. First, as you may have noticed, the economy is getting worse. This dude, Chris Tyson, who believes man, who pretends that he's a woman. By the way, this actually has real ramifications for the way that the show feels, the way the show looks. And they, they Bro, the amount of time that he cut talking about Mr. Beast, like Mr. Beast's YouTube page, is fucking insane. You should go to jail as a 39-year-old man. I'm not even kidding. The untypical German says, man leaves his wife and child. What a scumbag. Man leaves his wife and child to dress in a women's clothes. What a hero. Notice how like the part that's bad here is leaving the wife and child. And that is something that objectively did not happen. But in order to make this look bad and of course say like, oh, dressing women's clothes, not as like, uh, you know, being gender non-confirming or anything. They have to add the bad thing. You have to do that when you recognize the other thing objectively isn't bad. 
The other thing objectively hurts no one. That's why you have to add the other thing. Wow, man murders someone, scumbag. Man murders someone and then becomes trans, hero. It's like, yeah, no, it's the murder part that's f***ed up, man. I don't know if you, you realize that. There's a recent video from Mr. Beast in which this dude, Chris Tyson, who believes that he is a woman, they're interacting and making ex all the all the interactions that used to be kind of normal are now extremely, extremely awkward. Okay, but Mr. Beast is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because if he says to Chris, listen, Chris, you're screwing up the dynamic of the show, right? We didn't bargain for this. You want to make your personal life decisions. You want to take some time. You want, you want to figure out what you're all about. That, that's fine. But you don't get to enact your personal dramas on the set of my billion dollar show. You don't really get to do that. And if you do that, I got to say that that is not kind to me as a friend. He, he's not allowed to do that. Our society says that he must actually sacrifice his business for the sake of his supposed friend who's willing to put him in this position in the first place. Because if he doesn't put this guy on the air and destroy the dynamic of a show, or at least harm the dynamic of a show, then that means that he's a transphobe. But if he leaves the guy on the air, it completely messes up the dynamic of the show, and fewer people are going to watch it. And you can see that in the number of dislikes that have been racking up on Mr. Beast's YouTube page. So Mr. Beast had to make the choice, and so the choice that he chose is, of course, the wokest choice. He tweeted out, yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my bleeping friend, and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. Okay, that's, that's Mr. Beast's choice, but you also have a choice, which is whether you actually wish to watch Mr. Beast's videos, right? Or, or whether you want your kids to watch it. Mr. Beast's stuff is very safe for kids, typically speaking. It's kind of silly stuff, like what is the difference between a, a $1 flight versus a, a $100 flight versus a $10,000 flight, right? It's that, it's that kind of stuff. Well, I, I do not feel as though my kids should be exposed to a man who believes that he is a woman on the YouTubes until they're of, an, of age to understand exactly what is going on. A lot of other parents are going to have that same exact. Here's why you're in big trouble. Because I'm going to boycott you. That's what he's saying. After 11 minutes and like a four minute ad break in between, which is one minute longer than the top of the hour ad break I serve you at the top of every hour, which is an avoidable one, by the way. After an 11 minute video, he finally arrives at the main point of contention. He doesn't like that there is a trans person in the Mr. Beast universe. He does not care that they're friends. He does not care that this is a person who is now more comfortable and more, you know, healthy. He's like, Mr. Beast, you're in big trouble. Why? Because I, Ben Shapiro, will initiate a boycott. I will stop my children from watching, and I will tell other people to also subtly not f***ing watch. And that's not the fault of Mr. Beast. That's the fault of Chris Tyson. This is all about our society basically deciding that personal authenticity comes at the cost of everyone else around you. Everyone else around you must be made to mirror your priorities. It's the only thing that matters. What makes Chris Tyson feel good is the only thing that matters in all of this. Being a trans ally will almost certainly be worse for Mr. Beast's worldwide viewership than folding the woke would. No, that's not even remotely true. It doesn't matter. None of that shit matters. Shut the f up. Even being racist doesn't matter unless you get banned, okay? Just make content. That's it. I say this is a content creator, okay? Just keep making the content. No one gives a shit. You want to know why? No one gives a shit. Chris was out as, as, a, as bisexual before this, and his view counts didn't fucking diminish. Chris was also dressing in more gender non-confirming ways, and it's not like the view counts dipped. So clearly, demonstrably, it doesn't fucking matter. These people are desperately trying to make it seem like it matters. I noticed that hardline right-wingers either disregard or dislike the concept of being oneself or being aligned with oneself. If somebody they know changes, it's a problem, and they don't try to learn why the person might outwardly change. They want people to be correct. Yes. I think JonTron is a really good example of the fact that you don't cancel YouTubers for political shit. Yeah, it's just like, unless you literally go down this pipeline and break your brain and personally dedicate your whole life to making, like, right-wing commentary or whatever... And even then, you can't, like, actually perform at the same level you did before you were political, openly political. It doesn't matter. And I don't think Mr. Beast is going to be doing fucking, you know, HRT uh, introduction uh, videos anytime soon. So as long as Mr. Beast keeps making the same videos that he's doing, and Chris is involved in the videos in the same way that uh, they were involved in prior, okay, it doesn't matter. Nothing is going to change. People are still going to watch him. He is an algo demon, okay? He knows what's good. I get f***ing canceled on a weekly f***ing basis. It doesn't matter. If you keep 
your output the same. It literally doesn't matter. This cancel culture shit is not real unless you've done like done something truly heinous and truly fucked up, okay? Which is why presumably Chris Tyson tweeted about his own kid. He tweeted, quote, I won't let people talk about how I, quote, abandoned my child. He's the only priority in my life. I have his love and support, and that is all that I need. I'm doing this for him. If that confuses you, educate yourself. If that makes you mad, leave. Simple. Um, you're not doing this for him. You're not. That's a lie. This is like the... See, this is why, by the way, I told Chris not to f respond to any of this shit and that uh, you should stop just tweeting about this stuff in general. Just live your life. Tune Twitter out. This is the reason. There is no correcting the record in this circumstance, okay? There is no correcting the record. These people do not care. They will just use it as content and will weaponize it against you no matter what. The more you respond, the more content you give them. The worst thing you can do for your haters is not respond to them, no matter how much they try to f cut content. Don't feed the trolls because the best thing you can do is respond. Even if it's like a really good slam dunk, there's still going to be some people that look to that and go, ooh, there's movement here. Ooh, I can get a rise out of this person. Ooh, I could potentially get this person to respond to me. The parents who say, not because they're in an abusive marriage or something, they say, you know what? I'm, I'm leaving because um, I, I have to leave my wife and I have to leave my child because after all, if I stayed, just the dynamic, I'm really, I'm really leaving for this younger model. I'm doing it for my child. Don't, don't you understand? The happiest version of me is the one that my child ought to say, no, that is not how any of this works. That Again. is exactly how this works, you f***ing asshole. You don't know anything about their lives. You don't know anything about Chris. You don't know anything about his relationship with his child. You don't know anything. You're just literally parasocially crying. As a father of three, soon to be four, gotta tell you, you're constantly sacrificing your personal authenticity and happiness on behalf of your children. It's just a thing you do all the time. But let's be real. What we are now doing is we are reverse engineering how parenting, how relationships are supposed to be done. Everyone is out there to validate you you are not out there to validate anyone else, right? It's not your job to create relationships with other people at give and take. It is their job to mirror you. It is the perfect tale of narcissists. We are now stuck looking in the mirror at ourselves constantly. Weird that uh, he's like uh, dying on this hill because Chris is not giving up anything. That's the thing. Like, it's the same person, you know what I mean? But healthier. And, and uh, uh, has more mental clarity. You know what I mean? It's not like he's like, oh, man, I'm flying to a different country and I'm just going to be there forever. I'm going to leave my child behind. This story is not even something Ben feels strongly about. He's just mimicking what others are saying like a fucking fraud. No, I think Ben does feel strongly about this. But if it wasn't Mr. Beast, who he thinks he can approach and he can actually, like, uh, you know, reach out to, he would be way more aggressive. He'd be like, Mr. Beast is degenerate. Mr. Beast is, like, actually uh, perverting children. He should immediately take uh, his friend off of the airwaves. He barely, he basically said that here, but he can't say that because Mr. Beast is, like, you know, the algorithm demon, uh, you know, Mr. YouTube, basically. So Ben can't really be on bad terms. If we don't like what we see, then we insist that we get a new mirror and that everyone around us mirror back to us what it is that, that we are. Nice. What an awful video.